Annual celebration of military bands and drill teams from around the world goes virtual. This year's 24th annual Virginia International Tattoo live performances at the Norfolk Scope have been canceled because of the pandemic, but organizers have found a way to put on a show we can all watch from home. News 3 reporter Anthony Sabella joining us live from the Norfolk Scope where all of this would have happened. So what's the plan now? Hey, good morning, Jessica. So normally we would be live inside the Scope Arena with military performers from all around the world, kind of giving you a taste of this year's tattoo show. Unfortunately, as you mentioned, that's not going to happen because they had to cancel this year's live show because of the pandemic. And so instead, they're putting together a virtual show you can watch from home. Virginia Arts Festival, the ones who put on the show, they're behind this, still honoring this year's theme too, a salute to the greatest generation in tribute to the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. So starting tonight, they'll host a virtual watch party showing openings of tattoos past on the Virginia International Tattoo Facebook page. Friday night, they'll broadcast the full 2016 show on WHRO. And then Saturday, this is really cool, special custom content back on the Facebook page, a virtual performance featuring 248 musicians from places like Latvia, the UK, and of course, right here in Hampton Roads. Every member of the Royal Marine Band recorded a video and then the central band from Latvia was gonna, not only making their first trip to the Virginia Tattoo, their first trip ever to North America, so every member of that band recorded a video for us. And we also have local musicians from the Navy Band, Fleet Forces, and also from the Air, uh, Air Force Heritage America Band. We have bagpipers from as far away as Scotland in the show. And when we have singers um, from the ODU Choir, the Virginia Symphony Chorus, the Virginia Children's Chorus, And that's a few seconds of the performance, but you can tell, I mean, it's going to sound amazing. You can imagine with 248 clips, it was a tough edit. These were all recorded in different areas, different rooms, spaces. The audio levels were all different. So I'm told it was really difficult to put this all together, but Virginia Arts Festival got a mix that they're really happy with. And if you were watching earlier, I talked to you about how uh, they also had folks submit photos of their relatives who are World War II vets that they were going to put in the playbill of the live show. Obviously not going to have a playbill, so they're putting together a virtual playbill. They're also going to show photos during this performance, I'm told. And some of the photos that were submitted came from the performers who are going to be part of this performance. So they're going to be able to kind of show the clip of the performer and the photo of their relative who fought in World War II at the same time kind of a chance to show these brave veterans their legacy that they left behind and that they fought for. And I think that's going to be a really, really cool feature of this year's show. They're really excited about that at Virginia Arts Festival. Again, most of this appearing on the Facebook page, Virginia International Tattoo. Friday night's performance will be on WHRO. We have more information on our website, WTKR.com. We're live here in Norfolk. Anthony Sabella, News 3.